And there you have it by the miracle of editing. Uh, we've now got all our jars filled with the appropriate amount of seed in there. As I mentioned before, the seed values uh, weights aren't exact uh, because I have a scale that only goes to a gram. So I had to guess a little bit on the, on the points. Uh, so the reason I'm not doing that more specifically is because it's very unlikely that you at home have a scale that does more than grams uh, or less than grams. So I'm just trying to be uh, realistic in, in uh, how this gets carried out. If I had a lab, I could do this to the thousandth of a gram. Uh, there's just no need to be that precise. Uh, I also actually have a seed counter here. I could do this by seed count, which would be quite precise, but I'm pretty sure most of you don't have a seed counter at home as well. Okay, so each of our jars is filled with the appropriate amount of seed, which aligns with the uh, cell pack. So now we're gonna add water. Now I'm not going to do, I'm not doing any rinsing or sanitizing or anything like that. And I'm using quite warm water because this is the water I would use for growing. And so I'm trying to make sure I'm being fairly accurate in keeping this with how I do my actual production. There we go. So I'm, I'm just putting in enough water to make sure they're covered. Um, typically I would put in quite a bit. And so in this case, it's, it's, this is actually a, a bit of a source of error, uh, which means this water will cool quicker than is if I was doing it regularly with more water. So there's a few little things here that, you know, definitely uh, skew the results. But the thing is, we're being consistent within these trials is here. So they're not like all research. It's not an exact replica. I may be doing a bit of a half-assed job at making it a perfect replica. Maybe I should have filled these all the way. But I'm, I'm confident enough this is going to give me a good representation. Now, the key thing here is timing. It is 8.57, so I'm going to leave these to soak for an hour. So what I will do as I go through is I will basically rinse, uh, drain each one and sew it right away. And uh, we'll do that process together as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on. So this is ready. This is just going to sit for an hour. Soaking has started. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after this, I'll, yeah, I'll rinse. I'll lay the seed out. I'll do that for each of them on each tray. Then I'll give them a watering in and then we'll cover them with the other cell packs and put them on the shelf. So I've done this with my, my wheatgrass. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my sunflower. You don't need to sit through that, but I'll show you everything uh, of both trays once they're ready to go. So we'll let these soak. Uh, I'm gonna prep a few more things and then we'll get into sewing next.